Tony D and Little Joan, where the screenwriters ran on three chick flicks. Uh, the first one is Mother of the Bride, starring Brooke Shields and Benjamin Bratt. And uh, then a uh, high school girl drama, Turtles All the Way Down, uh, from Max. And then finally, uh, Babes, starring Alana uh, Glazer uh, as a woman who gets pregnant. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. The links are in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books 1 through 14 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget Kindle Unlimited is free. I will or I am at OCCon right now on the Music Pier in Ocean City, New Jersey. If you're seeing this between 10 and 4 on Sunday. Uh, don't forget tonight's live stream. It'll be later, probably around 9. All right. These are... These trailers were painful to watch. Um, but first up is Mother of the Bride, starring Brooke Shields, who used to be a smoke show. Ah, she's a little older now. She still looks okay. And uh, she plays the mother of a... Uh, uh, the mother of the bride, who her daughter's getting married, and... Uh, she goes to, of course, the destination wedding because we all know, we all know everybody can afford those. <laughs> and she runs into Benjamin Bratt, who was her um, college first love or something. And uh, uh, I think uh, the daughter's marrying his son or his son or someone related to him. And then uh, Rachel, I think her name's Rachel Levine, is playing the best friend. And here's a flashback. Lots of uh, no shirts on, I guess. Um, and it's supposed to be kind of a rom-com, I guess. I guess these are the two gay guys. I'm not sure. But it's from the director of Mean Girls and Freaky Friday. It's just, it's so, like the entire tra trailer is just nothing about details about the relationship. Which is, you know, good for a movie like this. I, I will admit that. It just made me want to punch the screen. Um, and there's this, this bit where she walks in on him naked because now we're doing that. So you, can you imagine in 2024 this scene, like, oh, you've walked in on me naked. And, you know, yeah, it'd be like, oh, it's so sexist. Now now they do it to hot guys all the time in these romant, romantic comedies. Oh, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Anyhow, uh, you pretty much know this story. Uh, here, here's another crotch joke. This time, Benjamin Bratt gets hit in the nuts <laughs> playing, uh, I don't know what they're playing. They're playing pickleball or whatever whatever they call that uh, with the rackets. And then uh, the handsome, handsome doctor man somehow helps Benjamin Bratt and then ask Brooke Shields out. He kind of looks like Timothy Oliphant, but it's not him. I checked. Um, and then asks uh, Brooke Shields out. So then it becomes which... Which hot guy will she fall for? Will it be her old love or will it be new handsome man? Oh, I, I think it'll be new handsome man. Oh, I don't know. Benjamin Bratt. Of course it's going to be Benjamin Bratt. It's, it's, a, it's always going to be Benjamin Bratt, okay? It's always going to be the same guy. The, they throw in the other guy. Just I Make one different movie, ladies, where the... Oh, she goes for the new guy. Ah, no, screw it. You screwed me over back then. I don't want to. I don't want to be with you. That, that would make more sense. That would make more sense in the movie. And at least you'd have a different movie. And then there's a wedding because there's always a wedding in these movies. It's got everything you want, ladies. And then this is a hilarious joke where uh, they reveal what the mother of the bride is wearing. And it's terrible. Isn't that hilarious? I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a friggin' wedding. you got to wear terrible clothes. So, I mean, I'm sure women are laughing at this. I'm just looking at it and go, I don't care. What's the difference? What's the difference? You wear it for two hours and it's over. Anyhow, it's called Mother of the Bride, uh, May 9th, if you want to see see this, ladies. Uh, then there's Turtles All the Way Down. It's a high school drama with a girl who has anxiety about germs and she fears she will never date a boy. But, of course, she will because her best friend eventually uh, gets her to uh, reconnect again with a lost love. This is uh, like a summer camp kid. And, uh, and uh, he is going to be the perfect man 
in her life. It's based on a best-selling novel. He's just going to endure everything because he, he's in love with her and he's like the perfect man and she, her anxiety fades and then comes back and then there's a car accident. and So, oh, I forgot to do the three-act breakdown of the first one. All right, the three-act breakdown of this one, pretty straightforward. First act, she has anxiety. Uh, second act, she reconnects with the boy, starts to come back and fall in love. Uh, but then the climax is the car accident. And then May 2nd, week before, uh, car accident. And then uh, she uh, eventually overcomes it to fall in love and have a great time with her, with her boy toy. All right. And then the Brooke Shields one, first act, uh, wedding, second act. Benjamin Bratt shows up. Third act, she falls in love with Benjamin Bratt again. All right. And then there's Babes. Uh, Ilza, Ilana Glazer, I think is her name. And she was on Broad City, which I thought she was funny in, by the way. Broad City had some good moments, but I don't know. It kind of fell into a bad, you know. There's a lot of feminism in her work. And it comes out in this movie, too. Like her friend's pregnant, her best friend is pregnant, and she's checking her, and then she goes into labor, and then um, Alana meets a guy, has uh, tawdry sex with him, and gets pregnant, and then decides to keep the baby because it's her choice, everyone. And then uh, these are the two brothers. They had a cartoon at one point that was kind of funny. I don't know. Are they directing this? From writers Alana Glazer and Josh Rabinowitz. Um, and director Pamela Alden. No. So she decides to keep the baby because she's a strong, empowered woman. And she's going to get through it with her best friend. And it's going to be hilarious watching her be pregnant, everyone. Um, and she gets horny and then has cravings. And why the F would anyone want to watch this movie? I don't understand. Uh, and they just call it every possible, every possible good adjective you can think of. They pretty much put in this movie. Uh, it's just read it here. Look, I'll show you. Say like, uh, pitch perfect, extraordinary, uh, comedy gold. <laughs> oh, it's, it's comedy gold, all right. Oh, you can see the pregnancy is just hilarious. Uh, so it's called Babes, I, I guess because it's baby and hot girls. Uh, they're trying to say. Oh, wait, we got credits here. Uh, directed by... Pen oh, we did these, sorry. Uh, yeah, so nothing new there. Um, I guess, just looks tiresome to me. I, I don't even think this would appeal to the women that it's aimed at. Maybe the handful of pregnant women who are going to write movies, I guess? If, if, if you're about six months long, <laughs> six to nine months, are they making movies for pregnant women six to nine months? Seems like a tiny market, but okay. Um, or, or women who dream of getting knocked up and having to raise a kid on their own. Like, that doesn't seem very good. You know, she has a one-night stand and then decides to keep the baby. Well, what happens to the dude? I guess he's just paying for that. I guess he's just paying for that. I guess another kid with a dysfunctional family. <laughs> but, okay. But it's a light comedy. It's light comedy, people. Anyhow, uh, babes... So what do I pick here? What's the what's the uh, turtles all the way down? Jesus and mother of the bride. Holy crap! Oh, this is a tough one. All right, uh, babes is on the bottom. I mean that looks awful. Those look god awful. Um, they all look god awful, but that looks particularly bad because not only is it it's not even trying to be fun. It's it's trying to annoy me. Now. Turtles all the way down uh, seems to have a genuine like anxiety thing going for it. It is in high school though, and I don't know Brooke Shields. She's not that funny. I mean, she's kind of funny. Like I think in the right comedy she could be good, but in this, for me, like I, I'm just not buying it. So I'll put this at number two. I guess Turtles. I mean, it's a drama, but. I, out of the three of them, this is kind of the more realistic of the three. So, I mean, I can kind of relate to the anxiety portion of it. 
to some extent. I'm a bit of a germaphobe myself, so I guess I can kind of relate to that. It is based on a book. The other two seem like, you know, at best, uh, I don't know, Babes probably going to end up on Comedy Central at some point. Um, are, are they going to make it like a Comedy Central for 40-year-old woman? Seems like that movie would be perfect for it. Uh, same thing with Mother of the Bride, but that's on Netflix, and no, I'm not going to review that. This, I mean, I don't know if the woman I was dating made me watch it, or, you know, I'd be like, well, maybe I could tolerate this, and, you know, take one for the team, I guess, but I, you know, wouldn't be, wouldn't be, uh, I, I'd try to get out of this one. I think I'd try to get out. I think I'd, I don't know, feign an injury. Like, ah, you know, I got to get up early tomorrow. I don't think we watch a whole movie. Uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's walk the dog. Go, go for a romantic walk. How about that? Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, okay, we can turn this stupid movie off. Uh, anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Uh, check me out at the OC Comic Con today at the Music Pier in Ocean City, New Jersey, and then later on the live stream where we do it live at 9 p.m. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.